Now, it appears to be almost impossible for Lebanon to rebuild without international aid in the near future. And so far, the response from the world leaders has been reasonably encouraging. Now, Turkey has dispatched crates of humanitarian aid material to Beirut. Emergency doctors and search and rescue teams are also being sent to the Lebanese capital. Meanwhile, Iran is sending well over 2,000 food parcels, 95 tons of food items and medicines to Lebanon. A medical team equipped with PPE kits will also be leaving for Beirut. Iran has also offered to set up a field hospital in Beirut to handle the influx of patients. Even Israel is offering to provide humanitarian assistance to Lebanon. On Wednesday, the Lebanese flag was projected onto the City Hall building in Tel Aviv. Now, this unprecedented show of solidarity was defended by Tel Aviv's mayor, who said that humanity comes before any conflict. Lebanon and Israel have been at war with each other. On and off for decades, but Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that he'll put aside the tensions and he will reach out to the Lebanese government. And Qatar will be sending a total of four relief missions to Lebanon. The planes are equipped with field hospitals of 500 beds each, along with respirators. The Greek cargo plane with about 12 rescue personnel, two vehicles and medical supplies has already arrived in Beirut. Now, Germany is also sending some help to Lebanon. Search and rescue dogs, medical assessment teams and about 15 tons of medical equipment has already been taken off from the Frankfurt airport. The Czech Republic has also dispatched an aircraft with about 36 people, including firefighters and doctors, to Beirut. <laughs> Russia is sending about five relief planes carrying medical equipment in one field hospital to Lebanon. All Russian medical staff are equipped with PPE kits on account of the COVID-19 pandemic. Meanwhile, Britain is all set to announce a £5 million aid package for Lebanon. The package will include search and rescue teams and medical support. The Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab spoke to the Lebanese Prime Minister Hassan Daib on Wednesday. Secretary Raab said that the aid package of $5 million will be tailored to the specific needs of Lebanon.